Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be in installing the Natural Vision Evolved September 2020 update. Please note that you have to kind of pay to get this right now. Um, there's no way to really get it for free. Obviously you go to the Patreon of the creator, you log in with your Discord account and everything, and then you get the download links for this. So keep that in mind. Mr. Beast played this. Um, a lot of people use this mod and um, it's quite good. I really love the graphics from it, so keep that in mind. Please also note, there's a few things you're going to need for this install. You're going to uh, need Open4, which is a program that allows you to modify GTA files. You're going to need a clean copy of GTA. I highly recommend a clean copy of GTA, though it doesn't technically have to be. It can run on any type of copy. But please do note, once you install this, there is a good chance that you don't want to go online or you'll get banned. So keep that in mind. We're also going to be installing it for 5M, so it works on both single player and for 5M. Um, obviously, you can skip to whatever point in the video you want in terms of those types of installs. But we're going to be starting with single player, and we're going to go over exactly what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is you're going to get the zip file you're going to unzip it with WinRAR or whatever you use to unzip files and you're going to download the or drag these folders to your desktop on whatever you need so it does come with rage mp alt v 5m and single player so what we're going to do is we're going to drag both the 5m uh, single player and the actual 5m one to our desktop and this is just going to take a second to extract and we're going to go ahead and drag everything in in the meantime we're going to go ahead and open up the folders we're going to need so you're going to go over to your gta ex like a uh, file here and you're gonna go wherever your gta files are for me i run it on steam so i can open up steam then i can go over to my library find gta right click press properties and then go over to local files and browse local files then you can see mine's in common steam app uh steam apps common gta 5 so that is where my install is and this is the install i run um I run LSPDFR on, so obviously I'll have LSPDFR files in here. Those work perfectly fine alongside. Gra graphic pack don't normally have any problems with that stuff. If you install this and you crash when launching Rage plugin hook, launch GTA first, load in, then launch Rage plugin hook. Thank you to a member of the GTA Police Mods uh, group for telling me that because it took like an hour and a half of me trying to mess with it, thinking it's LSPDFR, when it turns out it was actually the graphics pack. So Rage Plugin Hook and the graphics pack can't load at the same time, so load GTA first, then load Rage Plugin Hook. Keep that in mind. Um, I'll also make a comment of that down in the description, so if anybody has that problem, you know to look there. Um, anyway, we now have extracted these two to our desktop, and we are ready to install it. So we got our 5M single player package and our 5M package. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our single player package here, and you're going to have to drag some stuff into this main folder. You're going to have to go into the E and B folder and go and click the what preset you want. I'm going medium. Makes sense. You're just going to drag all these files straight into your folder. If you've had a previous version, it will say to replace them. Go ahead and replace them. You can just drag it in right on top. Um, I believe I'm actually running the game, so one moment. Alright, so 5M was actually running in the background so it wouldn't copy over, but there we go. I've just replaced all the files that I previously had for the last update, the August update. Then we're going to go ahead and back to the main folder here, and we're going to go to the main files required and just drag these into the folder as well. Just replace the destination and you're good there as well. Um, now it's time to actually install it. These are the files for GTA, but now we're actually going to have to install it. So we're going to open up Open4, and if you've never used Open4 before, it'll ask you to select the game you want to use. We're going to use GTA 5 and select Windows. It will then detect where your GTA installation is on your computer. If you have multiple installations like I do, it will normally ask you to select which one you want to modify. In my case, I've done that in the past, so it remembers that idea, but it will go ahead and take you to the folder. You're then going to enable edit mode. It's going to ask for administrator privileges, and you're going to click yes. Once it's in edit mode, please note anything you do can change files, so make sure to only do what you know if you know what you're doing or following the video, obviously. You're going to want to make sure you have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, it's going to ask you, should I create a mods folder? You're going to click yes, because this is very important. Anything that's not in the mods folder will be overridden by GTA, which means it won't work. So make sure to have a mods folder. That's the first thing you're going to have to do. The next thing you're going to go over tools and go to package installer. This is where we're actually going to install stuff. So we're going to go into our folder and we're just going to copy this uh, little uh, pathway here and we're just going to enter that in here. And you can see it's now looks like what we have here. And you're going to see OIV file. Double click on this OIV file and it's going to be natural vision evolved and it's going to say early access September 2020 build or whatever build you're using and just go ahead and click install. Make sure you click to install in the mods folder and just click confirm you are good to go now. It may take a few moments to install, so I'm gonna go over a little bit of other things while we wait. Once you install this over the OIV file for the main um, mod or the main graphics pack, you're gonna go into the optional add-ons and add any other 
ones you want. And with these, um, it's the same steps. So you're going to go to tools, package installer, optional add-ons, select the one you want. I want brighter emergency lights, and I'm just going to install it the same exact way for all of the ones I want to install. Straight to the mods folder, confirm. And you're going to do this one after the other for every single one you install. I'm going to install about three or four to give a just an example of how you do it for every single one. It's very simple. Just go back to tools, package installers, go back to the last folder. I want new street lights. Let me install those. Um, so you can do this for every single one. Just install into the mods folder every single time. Make sure you install the overpack first and then you install the extra add-ons. So make sure you install the main one first, then any add-ons because it wouldn't make sense and it would override stuff if you installed the other ones first. I want different stars. Let's install a little bit of different stars in here. Uh, straight to the mods folder, confirm. So you can do this for every single add-on you want uh, for your platform. So obviously this is the single player package, so we're installing all the single player ones. Um, and I'm just going to install one more, which will be... Let's do the... Hmm... We can do the enhanced motion blur if you want. Or actually I'm going to do trash modifier. I'm going to do... Maybe a little remove all trash? No, why don't we do more trash? We'll add some more trash to Los Santos. Um, so go ahead and install this to the mods folder, install, um, and we are good to go here. I'm, that's all I'm going to install for the single player, and I'll go over how you launch into single player in a minute, but I'm first going to go over how you install this for 5M as well. Um, obviously it works on both. It will not work right away on 5M unless you install something separate. So that's what we're going to do momentarily. I'm just waiting for the more track density to finish installing here on Open 4. Um, if you've never used Open 4, all you have to do when you're done here is unclick edit mode and then close out of the program. So it does take a little few depending on how much stuff. There we go, installation successful. We're going to close out of edit mode here and then exit out. We're good. We are good for this folder completely. But now we want to install it for 5M. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our 5M exe. And we're going to go open file location. Then you're going to go into the 5M application data. This is the folder where all your stuff is stored into. So inside of this folder, you're going to see the mods folder. Just stay here for a moment and open up your next 5M package folder. In here, you'll see ENB required. We've already done this, so you're good to go here. But you're going to see main package. This is where you see mods. You're going to drag this over into your main thing so it enters in. If you have installed it previously, you'll see three files with the same name. Just replace them in the destination. And inside here, you can see you have these files. Now you won't have all these files. You'll have three of these files and then you can install any optional add-ons. If you're upgrading, just go ahead and re-drag in all of your optional add-ons that you want to add. In my case, I had brighter police lights, new street lights. I also got the roads overhaul pack, so I can just drag that in as well. And I also did the alternate star field, so I dragged that in as well. Just update all of the ones that haven't but you've had previously, or if you're just brand new installing, drag in the ones you want. You are good to go there. You now have installed it for 5M and single player. To make sure we've installed it correctly, I'm going to launch GTA from Steam, and we're going to launch into single player first to make sure it's installed, so you know what to look for in 5M as well. Um, it will look the same. The graphics will look the same, obviously, in single player and 5M, now that you've installed it in both. To uninstall it, uh, you use the uninstaller, which is included in that zip file, or for 5M, you just remove those files from the mods folder. Both um, ways work for your version of the game. Anyway, we're going to just wait for a second to let this load up. I do apologize for the slow speed. I don't exactly know what's going on today. Um, but that's just typical GTA. But the second you get into the actual game, in the top left, it will say, um, hey, you are using this type of thing. It uses configs and other modifications. Hey, here's the copyright for this. That means you've installed at least most of the files correctly. Um, and obviously, there we go. It's the intro's natural vision involved, so we know we have loaded in and we have the things installed correctly for the game. So we are good. We are in. Um, I will hop into the game so you can see a little bit about what it looks like. Um, let me just add the source for the game capture so it's a little bit easier to see. I apologize for the double screen there. Um, so there we go. So we have jumped in and we're going to load into story mode to check out the thing. And obviously in the bottom left hand corner you see natural vision evolved. So we know we have loaded in with the graphics pack installed. So we know it's working. We just have to get in and make sure all the graphics work. Obviously they have a support discord as long as you are a Patreon supporter of theirs where you get the download. Um, and they also provide support there if you need support with it. So you can always ask there. Um, they're very helpful. They responded within like 10 seconds for an issue I had a while ago, which was really, really nice. So 
great people um great pack too and i can't wait to see what they come up with in the updates in the future the new explosion effects and everything are absolutely terrific i really really like them um and obviously i hope they keep working on it but just a reminder for those playing lspd far and stuff you have to launch into gta before you launch uh rage plug and hook otherwise it will crash um and thank you to the people over at gta police mods who reminded me and told me why my game was crashing. I was first blaming it on LSPDFR, but it turns out it wasn't that and it was actually the pack. So keep that in mind. That's the same with any graphics pack because they all use kind of the same system. You would have to log into GTA first, then you would have to log in to the Rage plugin hook. So just keep that in mind. Um, obviously GTA has a ridiculously long loading time. So um, just keep that in mind as well when you're playing the game, because obviously it's gonna take a long time to load in. Um, a few settings that you have to make sure you have enabled, um, and I will show you this when we get in, is it always recommends you read the readme, and I recommend it as well, because it goes over some of the settings which you should have enabled. Um, so we are in here, and you can see a game looks a lot better than it normally does. I'll give it a second to load in while we go over some of the settings, but we're going to go over to settings. We're going to go down to, uh... Graphics, because this is where you're going to be able to change all of your settings and everything. There's two graphics you're going to need to do. You're going to go to the graphics, and then you're going to scroll down to where you see, um, just keep scrolling, post effects. Set this to high or ultra. That way, all of the effects in the game, including like all the graphics and everything, work for the way it's going. And I obviously have a trainer installed, so I'm just going to switch the weather to extra sunny. Um, but we are in here. It looks great, looks way better than any other um, type of just default GTA. Everything's a lot prettier, uh, new tree coloring and everything. Everything looks just a lot better than the default GTA. There's reflections on the buildings, the roads reflect a lot better. It just looks like more of a newer game than GTA 5 originally was. So it runs fantastically well on um, my graphics card. Obviously, you should install the presets for your graphics card, depending on what you use. I'm using a uh, 1080, but obviously everybody has a different card. So um, I run on pretty much all high settings. So this is kind of like what all high settings look like. A lot of people run it on ultra and it looks a lot better. So it's kind of what your preference is if you want more frame rate over settings or if you want more, um, set graphics over frame rate. It kind of depends on what you're doing, but just figure it out, have fun with it. Hopefully this did help you install it and really enjoy making some cool content with new graphics. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.